everyone and happy holidays. I thought I would share with you today the video of one of my most viewed posts of all and that is how to make a fabric covered charger plate. Uh, it's very simple. I use these these charger plates. I've made several. This is one I just got on sale. It's just these little plastic things. But I've made several of these in years past. I've made uh, covered it with plaids and then even this fun leopard that I just used uh, recently this fall for a luncheon in my garden house. So today I wanted to show you how I do it on a video and um, also because I really wanted a charger plate in this Royal Stewart fabric. So the DIY couldn't be easier and I'm going to show you right now. So what I did was I laid out the fabric pretend that this is one big sheet and I just put the plate and I cut around the plate so I have about an inch circumference all the way around. You don't have to trace it, you don't have to uh, make a line with a white pencil, nothing like that. We're going to keep it square and I'm going to show you. This is so quick and so easy. So also with the leftover fabric I have several pieces over here that don't fit. I'm just going to go ahead and sew them into uh, cocktail napkins. So. Anyway, wish me luck on that because I don't sew well. Okay, so anyway, all you need is you need spray adhesive, you need the fabric of your choice, and you need these cheap little plastic plates. Now, I'm going to tell you, these are not food, food safe at all. So, uh, I'll probably say it again, but YouTube makes us warn people of that kind of thing. So, what you do is I've covered my surface with paper. I've double covered it. So if there's any spray runoff or anything we're good to go but just um, spray it I'm just not even going to touch it I'm just going to spray it lightly all over with the spray adhesive okay then what we're going to do is we're going to put the fabric right over top and smooth it out from the center out so hold your your hand in the center and just start smoothing it out. So you smooth out all the bubbles and you get that little plate indentation. If it doesn't, if you get a little wrinkle, it's easy to just pull up and then re reattach. So here I've got a wrinkle, I'm just gonna lift up and iron it out with my hands. Okay, so we are adhered just make sure you don't have any bubbles and you can see them if, if they appear. Just make it smooth, smooth, smooth. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and we're going to use sharp scissors. I, these are ones that I dedicate strictly to fabric. I don't cut anything else with them. And you're just going to follow the edge of the plate. Don't rush, but just hug your scissors to the edge of the plate. If you rush, you could end up cutting a little bit over. Well, which isn't, that, that's not a big deal, but cu cutting it under would be bad. Because then you have a spot, you'd have to re, whatever. Just be slow. And cut all the way around and wait till you see this. Hugging it around. I love, love, love to set a table, and I love to max, uh, match old and new, and I saw some charger plates in this Royal Stewart pattern that were unbelievably expensive, so I thought, I'm just going to make my own, and I'm going to cover it with fabric. So here we go. And the best thing about using a square print fabric on a circular plate is you can make it square or straight up and down, however you want. So anyway, it is that easy. This thing takes less than five minutes and you're going to create the most beautiful table. So happy crafting and happy ta table setting. <laughs> Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brooke Fedigan. Also hit the notifications bell so you get a notification every time that I post a video and I would love for you, if you haven't already, to subscribe to my blog at farmhouse1820.com. Thanks everyone and happy holidays.